looks good, Dad. Or is Rick Shaggy? Appreciate you so much. Have a great day.
Good morning. Good to be back on our uh, broadcast today. We welcome all of you out there on the Facebook and radio, and I hope that the Lord will be a, uh, a bless you wherever you are. And we just thank God for another day. We hope that you're praying. There's much prayer needs to be sent up today. Remember to uh, to go vote. That's that's what I'm asking you to do. To go vote and pray that the Lord will touch and help. And uh, Amen. And just just uh, uh, there's a lot at stake today, and uh, I want you to just pray and uh, follow what God's Word says. Amen. If you follow the Word of God, you can't do wrong. But if you don't, if you go by your own will or, or for the sake of some party, uh, you're going to do wrong. Uh, uh, but uh, And just, just pray. Uh, we, there's been a lot of uh, uh, bloodshed and uh, a lot of uh, pain and suffering to make this a free nation. Uh, so uh, determine in your heart that you're not going to let it go back to communist. I, I, I'm going to step out on limb before I get started and say I, I believe the word liberal is just the kind word to say American communist, but you believe whatever you want to believe. Uh, just pray the Lord will touch and help. And uh, uh, you say, well, you shouldn't be. I I'm standing on what this book says. I'm not going to promote anybody or anything or any party that's contrary to the word of God. You might tell me the politics and, uh, and religion don't mix. You're absolutely right. There's no politics found in the Bible, but what you believe in direct what you stand for uh, in this world. So Amen. you can take that for whatever it's worth. Cut me off. That's it. You got a privilege of doing that. Amen. Well, people are so prone to do that anyway. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want. They want to be pacified, patted on the back, told them it's okay. It ain't okay. Uh, so uh, you you can put that in your pipe and smoke it if you want to. Uh, but we just need to stand for this book and this uh, uh, the Bible is is being threatened. The Word of God's being threatened. The church, the persecution. Look what's going on out there in California over them power thirsty hypocrites. And, uh, uh, I better hush. Uh, but I want you to know, friend of mine, that. Um, now I believe in standing up. Uh, meekness don't mean weakness, and God didn't make me no doormat. So don't don't try to wipe your feet in my face, and don't try to come up to me and convince me that you love God uh, and you're standing on this book. If you're promoting all this ungodly stuff, if you're promoting abortion, if you're promoting uh, a friend of mine these. Uh, uh, same-sex marriage, if you're promoting uh, uh, socialism, if you're promoting, uh, uh, you know, these pedophiles and liars and thieves, don't don't tell me you love God because you don't love the God that's in this book. Amen. Uh, and I'll tell you that right off the bat, okay? Uh, so I, I, I got that out and, uh, <laughs> well, uh, just, just pray for me. I pray the Lord will touch and help and uh, I want to be strong in the Lord and the power of his mind. I want to be truthful in all things that we try to do, amen, and uh, you know, uh, who you are or what, what position you hold, how much money you do or don't have makes no difference today. It's what we stand on, what we believe, amen. and who we put our trust in, amen, today, all right? Uh, so, uh, well, that didn't cost you anything. Uh, and if I, I feel like the people that sponsor me and help me come on uh, feel the same way I do, uh, if they don't, they can tell me. But uh, may the Lord bless. It won't. It won't change me. <laughs> but they can tell me. Uh, so uh, let's pray for the sick. Let's pray for the needs. Let's pray for uh, uh, our nation and pray for our churches and uh, the outreach of our church. There's so many people dying and going to hell, and people are just pushing them further and further and further. They ain't trying to help them find their way to Jesus because, friend of mine, uh, people are disputing that Jesus is even real. Uh, it, is, uh, it is sad that we're living in a time when and people in America are trying to disprove that God exists or that the word of God is, is authentic, but that's where we're at today. So it's our job to prove that he is uh, by living and standing and being all that God would have us to be. All right, uh, let's do remember all these in the hospitals, the homes, the rest home. Remember where this uh, uh, virus is and uh, Pray that the Lord will touch and help there, and uh, may God bless. And 
You might say, well, I, I mailed in my vote. I hope it made it. Uh, amen. There's a lot, a lot of they ain't thousands and thousands and thousands. And, uh, and then the, the people that, that do this, they, they just want to be smacked on the hand and, and said, oh, you should have known better. You better believe they should. So uh, let's just pray that the Lord would help and God would touch. And you just do what God would have you to do. All right, uh, we better go to the Lord in prayer and uh, pray that the Lord would help us this morning. And I pray that you're praying out there today. I've been praying. I hope that you are. And uh, I, I'm praying that the Lord would would, would uh, let the whole world see that we are going to stand on the word of God. We are going to be a Christian-oriented nation. We are going to uh, uh, believe in God. And, and God is the foundation of this, uh, of, of this country. And we're going to build on the foundation that's been laid by the sacrifices that's been made. And uh, may God bless. We want to be a light to a lost and dying world. And we can't be that light unless we're living for Jesus. And I hope that you will and that you are. Let us pray. Father, thank you again that you gave us this day. Lord, we just want to come, be honest and truthful. God, there's none uh, perfect. We realize, God, that we're far from it. We sin, we falter, we fail you. And, but I thank you for the spirit that deals with my heart, that shows me that uh, there's a need of prayer and repentance. And God, that you guide me into the path that's right and, uh, for, your, for your goodness and your name's sake. And God, that you let me uh, know that, uh, God, that I am responsible for the things I do. And I am weighed as we preach by our actions. And uh, God, that we will give an account for all the things that we do uh, permissively here. And it's all permissive through all apart in this walk of life. And God, we do ask you to minister to those that are lost, to touch the sick, and uh, to open the minds of those that are confused. And God, guide us by your good spirit today. In all things we pray, Jesus' name, amen. I want to send it to uh, Clyde and Ernie today. And may God bless. Hope y'all are doing better. And also to Sister Bobby, I hope you're doing well. Mary Ann, and, uh, Sister Alice, and Sister Joe, and Charles and Linda, and Brother Dewey, and uh, Randy and Donna, I appreciate y'all so much. Malcolm and Ann, and y'all's comments, and that you're uh, praying for us. And may the Lord bless you. And we just thank the Lord for you and all the comments out there today. And to Johnny and Jeanette, and Johnny and Dee, and uh, Chris and uh, uh, Donna, and, uh, we just hope the Lord is blessing and touching you out there today. And, and uh, may God help you. And, uh, Connie said she'd be listening. We can send it to you. And all of our church members, I know Leon and Liz uh, is listening if they can get it this morning. And uh, also uh, uh, today to Joe and Sonia and Wayne and Sonia and, and whoever else might be listening today. May God bless you is our prayer. And I probably left out a bunch of names. Jimmy, I know you're listening over there. And so we send out every church represented uh, through uh, through you, whoever you are that's listening, and may God bless you is our prayer today. All of our family, may God bless you. you do. I want to do a couple of old songs out of this uh, uh, that we haven't done in a while. And For many long years, I'll travel this road. i
because, as I said, uh, intelligent people don't want to go to hell. And uh, this one, act like he did, probably using somebody else's name. It's so easy to get on the phone and punch buttons. And I, I call them button-pushing cowards. That's what they are. So uh, I'm sorry that, uh, that uh, but I feel good that the devil uh, is worried enough about what we stand for to want to listen <laughs> uh, to our broadcast. So uh uh, and the devil doesn't have a body unless you give him one. So uh, he uses people. And so uh, don't don't get discouraged. Uh, amen. That's what this uh, this Facebook, they go out and it goes out and people comment and they say and do. And uh, just pray for them. Pray that the Lord will touch because hell is just a word now, but it'll come a reality when uh, death takes away this old body or claims this body. So uh, when hell becomes a reality, uh, they ain't nobody will want to be there then. So you pray the Lord to touch and may God bless you. Yeah. Well, hell runs a glorious place. I'd say my amazing grace. I'm just about to win this race. Hell runs in my long time. I fall down here. In the eyes of all of the years. I'll shout for a million years. Hell runs in my Daddy used to do so. 
the three Hebrew children to the flames they were thrown. They stirred not the enemy to the king this was wrong. But wait just a minute shall he the king there's four in the first you are uh, out there this morning. Uh, key of, uh, D flat, maybe. Um, Leon likes this song and, and uh, Liz, and so uh, we'll do it and send it their way uh, this morning. And to all of you out there today, it's a title, I Can Do All Things Through Christ, Which Strengthens Me. Sometimes I
knowledge of God's saving grace uh, that you might become what God wants you to be here today and uh, uh, live your life in accordance to what God says and the instruction of this book we call God's precious word. Revelation 21 this morning we'll read the first three verses and I hope it'll be a blessing to you and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for well, the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he'll dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Ain't you glad you can believe those scriptures today? If you believe in what the world's teaching, you would have no hope in what I've read. But if we believe what God is saying, we have all hope. Let us pray. Father, I do thank you, God, for your blessings. I thank you for your love. I thank you for this opportunity. I pray, God, that we might stand today and uh, I'll be earnest in our heart and God forgive me of my sins let there be nothing there today that would be a stumbling block or hindrance in the lives of anyone else. I pray this morning God that you might draw us closer to you. Open your scriptures to and give us wisdom and anoint us with your sweet spirit and let thy word go out and God find some good lodging places this morning and uh, the seed be sown upon some good soil and bring forth the heart harvest that would glorify and magnify your precious name. We do love you and thank you today. God have your way saved to the uttermost. I pray in Jesus name. Amen. Uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about won't it be wonderful that. Amen. Amen. Uh, I realize today that uh, this is a title of an old uh, hymn, a great old hymn that's found in the Red Book, which we still use uh, when we get to sing in the choir. But a uh, friend of mine, I, I, I can't think of anything to get the point over to you any better than that you realize and acknowledge how wonderful this place called heaven is going to be. I believe people that's lost their joy have uh, I've lost their vision, their spiritual vision of heaven. I believe today, friend of mine, that uh, if your heart is not excited uh, about uh, going to be with the Lord, there must be something wrong uh, in your life. I want to say to you today that this thought, uh, won't it be heaven, I uh, won't it be wonderful there, this is not a question that's being asked. I, I want you to know that. Uh, uh, it's not a question. 
Christian, but a friend of mine, it is a sincere statement of faith that is based solely upon the Word of God. I'm not saying that today to ask you what you think about it. I'm, I'm just telling you today through the Word of God that it is a statement from the hearts of all who believe this morning that uh, heaven uh, is going to be a wonderful place. I'm glad that I, I can say this because God has shared it with me uh, uh, through His precious Word. I didn't draw this conclusion on my own. Uh, friend of mine, God has shared this with me through uh, His Word. And therefore, because God has told me, I, I, I really, friend, I, I do not ask anybody else. I don't have to ask anybody about heaven. God has shared this thought and this view and I inspired my heart through the Spirit that dwells within me that heaven's going to be a wonderful place. I don't need the opinion of those that I, I think their interpretation of the Bible is not uh, is the most truthful. I, you see, I have the Arthur that's living in me. When you got the Arthur that uh, is living in you and the, and the Holy Spirit that inspired the writing of and you've studied the Word of God, you can declare, friend of mine, that you know in your heart what heaven's going to be. Heaven's going to be a wonderful place. Amen. I, I, friend of mine, and I won't get into all of it this morning. I realize that, but I, I just want you to know that, friend of mine, what a joy it is to, uh, to have your heart settled upon the Word. What a joy that uh, you're not running around, friend of mine, uh, uh, with a bottle of Maalox. I, uh, uh, friend of mine, worried about tomorrow because you've got things settled today, man. I, uh, uh, friend of mine, you uh, you didn't go to bed last night worrying about uh, whether there'd be another sunrise because your heart was settled in the Word of God. You have confidence that if you were here, praise God. If not, praise God. That how to be absent from this world meant that how you'd be in the presence of God and God's glory. And how that's what it's all about. How, how having peace, real peace, not a superficial peace. A lot of people are looking for consolence to the way friend of mine, I, 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 you need some peace in your soul, real peace, some real comfort, some real joy, and, and know that even though uh, the storms are raging all around us, uh, and realize that sin has reached an all-out high uh, in the hearts of mankind, we still have the promises of God. Uh, uh, there ain't nothing uh, uh, the government can do uh, uh, about the promises of God. Amen. Uh, I feel they make the ruling, they make their uh, 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 declaration uh, uh, concerning the world and the things thereof. But uh, uh, there ain't nobody can take away the promises of God. They, uh, nothing in this world can defirm uh, or change the heart of God concerning uh, uh, His love and desire to give them to us. Amen. Uh, I just want you to know that. Friend of mine, uh, uh, years ago, uh, I got connected to something that the world can't separate me from. Uh, and that's the love of God. That's the grace of God. I, I, my soul's been purchased by the blood. I, I have the precious blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on an old rugged cross. I, and the world cannot, I, I pray to mine, take that away from me. I, 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 they can take my life, I, I, but they can't take my soul. I, I, my soul belongs to the Lord. I, and I'm glad I can say that to you out there today. I, you don't have to believe in Jesus. I'm just glad I do. I, I, you don't have to believe in the power of the blood. I, I'm just glad that I do. I, I, you don't have to believe in eternity. I, I'm just glad I do. I, I thank God today there ain't nothing you can say I, I do to change my mind I, about God's salvation or guilt. I, I may be washed in the blood and sealed by the Holy Ghost. I, I, I pray to mine I, and on my way to heaven. You just can't change that. I, I, the devil may have done his best this morning. I, I to discourage you. I may want to discourage you. You may be out there today. I got up and discouraged, but he may have tried to bring some dark cloud. I'm blooming this fire upon you and causing you to take your eyes off the things of God and begin to worry and fret over the things that are around you. I'll listen, but as a Christian, 
you can lift up your head, how you can cast out your eyes upon the Lord, how you can set your affection on the things above, how you can lift up those arms that are hanging down low and rejoice because this world is not your home. The things that you see here will not be the things that you bask in when you get to glory. I want you to understand that. You need to tell that to your heart over and over and over and over again that this world is not your home. I tell it until you begin to feel how the gloom and despair begin to dispensate. I tell it, friend of mine, until by faith you can see God's glory begin to come shining through. I tell yourself that God loves you. I tell yourself that God has prepared a place for you. I tell yourself how that in this world has nothing, no hold on you. But heaven is going to be your home. And lift up that head and those hands and begin to praise God. It ain't over till God says it's over. And when God says it's over, it'll be joy unspeakable and full of glory for you and me. Now listen, friend. Now remind yourself what God has said. Now friend, listen. Now John saw chapter 121 and 2. Now the holy city New Jerusalem. Now what's this place? It's the place Jesus has gone to prepare for those that love him. And those that have accepted him as their Lord and Savior. Now John said, I saw it coming down from God out of heaven. I prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now the side of this place I was so spectacular that a bride adorned for her husband had been taken out of the time to make sure everything was just right. Was as close as John could get. And to make people understand uh, the beauty of this place uh, uh, that God had shown him. Uh, oh, listen to me, friend. Uh, uh, it's going to be a beautiful place. Uh, uh, this place called heaven. Uh, he tells us that the tabernacle of God uh, uh, is with men. Uh, and he will dwell with them. Uh, and they shall be his people. Uh, in that praise for uh, I'm worshipful here today. Uh, and he said, God himself shall be with them and be their God. I'm going where God is. Are you listening to me today? I'm going where God is and God's going to dwell with us and I'm going to dwell with him. I don't that excite your old tired and weary souls this morning. If you're going there, we'll I'll tell you that today. In the fourth verse and God shall wipe away away all tears uh, from their eyes uh, and there shall be no more death uh, uh, neither sorrow uh, and our crying uh, uh, neither shall there be any more pain uh, for the former things uh, uh, are passed away praise God uh, uh, let me say dear friend uh, all the things that have caused us heartache uh, all the things that's brought trouble uh, into our lives uh, I won't be found there anymore. Oh, they won't be in heaven. They won't be hung up. We won't be tempted. There'll be no sin. There'll be nothing to cry about. There'll be no sorrow. I thank God or pain. I suffered. I won't make it into heaven. Can you hear me there, there today? No one will be hurting anymore. There'll be no wheelchair. Uh, there'll be no hospital bed. Uh, there'll be no cancer. Uh, uh, there'll be no disease of uh, uh, any kind to destroy us. Uh, there'll never be a funeral uh, uh, in heaven. Uh, uh, because there'll be no more dead. Uh, ain't you glad? Uh, you'll never have uh, uh, to walk by the casket uh, of a departed loved one. Uh, uh, some that have went out uh, at an early age. Uh, you'll never watch a walk by and see your mama or your daddy or your son and daughter or your grandchildren. I know 
friend of mine. Uh, there'll be no funeral uh, in heaven. Uh, there'll be no day of uh, uh, why uh, death has power over this fleshly body uh, uh, that's corrupted uh, uh, by sin and has a sin nature. Uh, uh, when I get to heaven, uh, I'll have a glorified body. Uh, I'm one that sin can't touch uh, uh, because there'll be no sin uh, and death. Uh, I'll have no power uh, over that glorified body uh, uh, that the Lord uh, is going to give to me. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, friend, I'll hurry. Uh, it's about time I'm going home. Uh, and Bible said, uh, and he that sat upon the throne, uh, I said, behold, uh, I make all things new. Uh, it's a brand new place. Amen. Uh, uh, like the Lord is going to prepare. Uh, and yeah, it wasn't there. Uh, all the time. Uh, uh, the Lord has come to prepare it. Uh, I made all things new. Uh, and he said unto me, Right. Uh, uh, for these words are true and faithful. Uh, oh, thank God. Uh, I'm glad I believe in the word. Yes, uh, I, I believe there's a place uh, called New Jerusalem. Uh, I believe today it's wonderful uh, and beautiful. Uh, I believe it's been prepared uh, for those that love God uh, and that have had their sin uh, uh, washed white in the blood. Uh, uh, listen, I'm about to go off the air. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, uh, there's more to behold. Uh, there's walls of jasper. Uh, uh, there's a street of gold. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's gates of pearl. Uh, there's a river of life. Uh, and then there's the greatest sight of all. Uh, uh, we shall see Jesus. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, listen to me today. Uh, uh, Jesus will outshine uh, it all up there today. Uh, it's glory. Uh, uh, there will be no sun or moon uh, or any other type of light. Uh, for the glory of God uh, uh, will shine upon this place. Uh, and Jesus, hallelujah, uh, I will be the light thereof. Uh, I want to tell you, friend, uh, heaven uh, is a wonderful place. Uh, I want it to be wonderful there. Uh, I prepare uh, uh, to meet God. Uh, don't let this day pass uh, until you prepare to meet God. Uh, uh, get your heart ready uh, uh, to go up. Uh, look up, thank God, uh, and pray up, uh, and let's get ready to go. Uh, may God bless you uh, until 11 o'clock. Uh, thank you. Uh, we're praying for us. Uh, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord.